happy Thursday, everybody. Okay, it is the 28th of June. It's been that long since I vlogged. So, I'm coming in um, on my lunch break right now. I have like maybe 45 minutes left. I'm in my car. I need to take my lunch break in my car because sometimes I just need to not talk to anybody. I just need to be with myself. I mean, of course I'm talking to you guys, but yeah, sometimes it's just a little bit much. So, um, I guess I wanted to come on here after God knows how many days and just talk to you guys about how this, um, this transition is going so far. Um, I'm just gonna get my food, hold on. I'm not being healthy today and I don't care. That's the type of timing I'm on today. I got fries and I got chicken tenders. Look at me spilling everything. But yeah, so, um, the last time that I spoke with you guys regarding my position, I was saying that I didn't know how the um the training process and everything was gonna go because i'm the first nurse practitioner that they have hired at the place that i practice and i guess um i'm kind of like a guinea pig and you know things of that sort so seemingly they have decided on a way to basically train me so that i will be able to transition independently and not have any concerns or any issues or whatever the case is so this is the thing Remember, I went to school for family nurse practitioner, right? So that means, for those who don't know, that means I can see patients across the spectrum um, from newborns until, you know, God calls them home, like, you know, meaning advancing in age. I, from my work experience, have only dealt with adults. And by adults, I mean anybody like, like 21 and up. Um, and by up, I mean all the way up to geriatrics. So I'm comfortable, um, in my mind, I'm a little bit more comfortable dealing with them, although practicing as an NP is obviously different than practicing as a registered nurse. But still, nonetheless, I would be able to kind of wrap my head around some things a little bit easier. So things are changing, guys. They actually are pushing for me to um, get a little bit more experience with pediatrics. And by pediatrics, we're talking about like, is it 18 and under? And under I'm talking about like two weeks old so yeah it's been it's been a challenge um a good challenge it's not like a bad challenge I'm not gonna complain because I could be sitting at home on my behind doing nothing you know what I'm saying and these opportunities were given to me because God knows that I'm clearly capable and I'm clearly able to handle you know things that are thrown my way but I'm not gonna front I'm not gonna front like it's been a lot because in addition to the fact that I'm in school that I have a lot of papers and posts and assignments whatever that I need to um, focus on I'm now entering into a specialty that I don't know which requires me to go back and read and just to give you guys a little backstory in nursing school we're talking about from undergrad OB and pediatrics have been my worst subjects by far like I got a C plus in both of those classes I'm and I'm not a C plus type of chick okay I'm I'm a good student like really really good academically but for some reason my mind just couldn't really understand that concept or those concepts so it's funny how the tables turn and now I am focusing these next few months on like pediatrics no be because that's like a woman's health thing but pediatrics so so far it's been um you know it's been a learning experience what they're doing to me what they're doing is they're placing me with a pediatrician who is going to go out on leave in august and i'm following her on the same thursdays and fridays and basically she's trying to teach me everything she knows because i Think I'm gonna be seeing her patients um it's it's I've had issues not issues but I've had situations where when she tells her patients oh just letting you know I'm going out on leave blah blah, blah. they look at me like so you're gonna be taking care of, the, of you know my daughter or you're gonna be taking care of me or this other case oh, so I mean I don't know how it's gonna work I don't know if after I'm done um, doing my rotation with her they're gonna pair me up with another pediatrician or they're gonna put me back to adults 
I don't know. But so far, I will say that the training has definitely been, it's been good. It's been good. It's a challenge, but no challenge is too hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've done, I've done, I've dealt with things that are harder. Um, and since my mind is in a good place, I can handle it. So, just wanted to, like I said, just stop by and talk to y'all. I haven't seen you guys and spoken to you guys aside from my last sit down video which i think you guys have had good responses um a lot of questions and stuff like that which i will be getting to i just have to like i said compile all of the questions so that i can make a cohesive video for these particular topics and stuff like that so things have been going really well for me so far um work is work you know what i'm saying the, my, my bedside job is just as crazy but today was a really crazy day. I'm not gonna front. Today was a little, it was a lot. I just came, uh, I started this morning with um, the adults and now I'm going to do peds this evening. But moving forward, I think I'm just gonna be doing peds. Today was my last day dealing with the adults for now until, you know, after the um, pediatrician goes out on leave, then they'll figure out where to put me. But today has been like so crazy and all I could do was like laugh. Like literally, I've had some crazy days and crazy, well, crazy nights in my case because I worked the night shift. I've had crazy nights. I mean, more than enough, more than my I can even count or consider. But I would always say to myself, "Don't worry, Kim. 8:30 is coming." And I'm referring to 8:30 in the morning because you know I work 12-hour shifts. So I'm like, you know what? Don't even get all riled up for what? You know, just do what you can, do the best of that that you can, and then just wait till 8:30 so you can clock one out. But today, I was like, I cannot wait to even go on break. Like, I just want to step away. It's just been like, it's not bad crazy or like dramatic. It's just that everybody, every patient that came in wanted like a whole bunch of things. Whether it be referrals, they wanted paperwork, they wanted this, they want medications. They want you to do things that are like a little bit beyond, you know, what their chief complaint is to the MA or to the RN or no is that the LPNs and the, um and the MAs are the ones who basically take in um how can I can say they kind of triage the patients so you'll see the patient says like I'm here for a follow-up on labs whatever and the minute you go in there they want they want paperwork they want this they want something else done they want to refer for this they want you to do this they want you to look at this so it's like in your mind mentally you're like okay this is gonna be like a five minute encounter I can go back and chart but you end up sitting in there or being backed up because something stops you midway. Like something is literally stopping you from proceeding to the next thing that you have to do. And that does not stop the people in the front to add patience to your panel, to keep on piling things on top of you. People coming in with more paperwork, people interrupting you. So thankfully, I am not by myself. Um, the provider that I, I, I can say I am with or the, my, my collaborative physician for lack of better words my collaborative physician has not let me be completely on my own what he's trying what he's what he was doing with me is um we will look at the patient's chart see what the patient came in for we will go over the labs go over whatever he's like now just go in there so i go in there and i just basically introduce myself as the nurse practitioner working with him um and i kind of do like a pre like a it's not a triage, but it's like a triage to him coming in. So I go in, they have any questions, I answer all their questions, concerns, if they want any referrals, I will get a whole list of all everything that they need done, and I just come back to him and say, okay, this is what's going on, blah, 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 so he can put it in really quickly, we can move to the next patient. And that has basically been helping him with his, work, his, with his workflow because he's such a very good doctor. His patients love him, they're very loyal to him, and he always is busy as a result. And sometimes when you get stopped by one one particular you know case it it throws you off and you know he has to go on break the nurse has got to go on break you know people gotta it's a lot it was a lot today so i'm happy that i'm on my break right now okay um let me finish let me eat actually because i've been talking to y'all for about what like 10 minutes now yeah, it's about like 10 minutes i've been talking to you guys for about 10 minutes i'm gonna eat my food um chill for a little bit like just mentally you know reset so that i can come and deal with these peds so if i don't come in to you guys for the rest of the day i will likely see you all maybe friday i don't know i'm trying to do something on friday i don't know what though if I don't come in Friday, I'm definitely coming in on Saturday to see you all. So I'm happy to speak to you guys, and I'll check you guys later.